hey guys and welcome back to my channel on today's video I will be undecorating cleaning and decorating for fall thank you for clicking on my video today and I really hope you enjoy if you are new to my channel my name is Ryan Michelle I create cleaning organization home decor and lifestyle content so if you like what you see I hope you consider subscribing So I'm going to start with my half bathroom. This is the before and I'm going to start by removing all of the summer and spring decor from the bathroom. If you are wondering where I store all of my decor, I actually have a video on my channel of me cleaning out my storage closet. So you can check that video out too. Now once I remove everything from the bathroom, I will be starting to clean. Cleaning products I used in this video were Lysol Spray, Dollar Tree Glass Cleaner, Mr. Clean, Clean Freak, Pine Saw, and the Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I also used Tidy Bowl Cleaner in the master bathroom. I am so sorry that I had to use the Turbo Speed in this cleaning video, but this video was so long and I didn't want to make it any longer for you guys. So I hope you do get to watch the entire video or you could just turn me on your TV if you just log into your account and subscribe to my channel. You can also watch me on your smart TVs. Though I do use a rag to clean my bathroom, I always go behind it with a disinfectant wipe. So I did just purchase some new toilet bowl brushes and that was so disgusting. Everything was in there. That's why I like to put vinegar and pine saw inside of the toilet bowl brush. Now when I do this, it doesn't really matter what you use. I like to use Pine Saw or Fabuloso because it smells so good. So that's another little hack that I like to use to keep my toilet bowl brush cleaner container thing nice and clean. And also in my Swiffer I like to use Fabuloso, Pine Saw and vinegar in there as well. So now we have made it to the kids bathroom. The kids bathroom was not bad at all. I was expecting to see toothpaste everywhere, but they have been cleaning up behind themselves pretty good. So it wasn't that bad. Just was a trash can was just overflowing, but that's okay. And that's an easy thing to take care of. So when cleaning the upstairs bathroom, I always like to start with the toilet. I kind of want the cleaner to be able to soak and disinfect the toilet while I clean the sink and the counters. So let me know in the comments section what have been your favorite cleaners to clean your bathroom. I know I've mentioned in previous videos that I hate scents that are way too strong, but I like to use bleach sometimes, but bleach is just so messy for me because I make a huge mess and I splash stuff everywhere. So I get bleach on everything. So I really don't like to use bleach unless I have like super mold buildup in my tile and that is another thing why i really don't like to clean my bathroom because of the tile that we have if you are new to my channel we are military and we do live in military housing okay. 
so just like I did with my toilet I will be spraying down my shower towel so it can soak up all of the soap scum and the mold so I can be able to wipe it off easier <music> So I just wanted to take down the shower curtain so I can give it a good wash. There are really bad stains on the bottom of it from water stains I guess. But we have had this shower curtain for about two years now so it may be time to let it go. So I will be throwing that in the washer. So this is our bathroom Ooh, it is um this is a no judge zone friends so we're not going to judge my bathroom it's just the counters I just um failed to put the things back where they supposed to go so that is why the counters look like this See, it wasn't so bad. I told y'all I just needed to remove everything from the countertops. The sink was not bad. So now I'm going to remove all of the decor that's on my countertops so I can get ready to clean and put the new decor on. Yeah. Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk. So that stain that you see on the left side of the sink, that is from somebody that was here before us. It looks like maybe a flat iron or curling iron got too hot and burned the counter. I'm not sure, but that is what that is. We should take it slow. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah. When I played this video back, I seen something moving in the tub and that is Lauren's toy. That kind of scared me just a little bit. So if you are wondering what that was that moved in the toilet, not the toilet, that was moved in the tub, that is Lauren's toys. Don't wanna go all in. Yeah. Oh baby, I don't know. I think I'm scared of falling. And I really don't know how to feel again. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, y'all, I hate this towel with a passion. The mold buildup is so ridiculous. And if you have any suggestions or advice on how to get rid of it, like forever, I would really appreciate it. Yeah. 
finishing and it's almost eight o'clock so it took me about two hours to clean all bathrooms straight my kids are out of town so I was able to knock that out with no interruptions so I feel like I am superwoman but anyways I'm done now I'm going to figure out what I'm going to decorate the kids bathrooms with my bathroom with I got a few pieces um already have a lot of stuff already so i'm going to basically figure out what i need to get and put what i need to get from the store um i think i need a shower curtain for the kids bathroom i want to do something fun i would like to use the shower curtain that they have already but the bottom of the shower curtain has um not really sure if it's water stains i've tried to get it out they've had that shower curtain for about two years now so it may be time to let it go, but I just love that shower curtain and Target really doesn't sell it anymore. So maybe I can go and find them a new shower curtain. So and some shower hooks because the ones that I bought, they, um, they're not good. So I'll be getting some new shower hooks, shower curtain hooks. And yeah, if you are still here with me, you are the best and it's not over yet. I still have to decorate for fall, so I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is the worst thing about cleaning the bathroom. The worst thing for me, it will have to be the tub. I cannot stand cleaning the bathtub. It's I'd rather clean the toilet. Crazy, I know. But I hate cleaning the bathtub. But let me stop talking and get back to okay, it. Okay, so before I get started in my master bathroom, I just wanted to um, show you guys what I got. Yeah, so this glass flower arrangement was from Burlington, I think, and I got this years ago. I don't want you guys to feel like you have to go out and buy all of this stuff because half of this stuff I have um, already had it for years. So yeah, I'll just be adding this. I just love the color of it and it's it looks kind of glam that that's the look that I'm going for and I got these now nah, this is new I got this from Burlington a few weeks ago and um, this was $5.99 and I got two of them and it's kind of glass but it will be in my bathroom so hopefully it doesn't get broken um, yeah these soap dispensers were so pretty and they go perfectly with the bath mats that i purchased too if i can get it back on my god 
These are BB bath mats. And I got three of them. The smaller one was $6.99. The larger one for the bathtub was $9.99. Isn't it so pretty? And then I have two pumpkins. One pumpkin is new, one pumpkin is from years ago. And um, yeah, these were from the Dollar Tree. This gold leaf was from Hobby Lobby. I talked about that in another haul. And I got some white towels to go with the bathroom. Didn't wanna get gold towels or anything. I still love my white. So I got some white towels to hang. And then um, I already had a white shower curtain. What is that? I already had a white shower curtain. So I will be using that one again too. So let's get to it. Uh, I also got some new shower hooks. These shower hooks are silver. Um, try not to even care about that. Uh, the bathroom is gold, but these things are on clearance. And um, it will do. They were $3. A double hook it, they are double hooks this is my first time trying these I had the um I had the cheap the cheap ones but um the cheap ones starting to get a little discolored and when I want to change out the shower hooks it's a problem like it's a hassle so I wanted to try these. So with this glam bathroom, it is so new to me because I'm so used to simple basic colors and I'm not really too heavy on metals, like silver and gold. So the gold is a little overpowering, but it's okay. I'm just trying to try new things and hopefully I don't change it out before the fall is over with. We're just going to have to see. I love the colors, but the metals are just a lot. They're like very bright for my liking, but I wanted to try something new. So let's see how this goes. this earlier but the towels also match the flower that I have in my bathroom by the sink so for 
for the kids bathroom um i really didn't buy much um they have the same black mats they have the same um towels same wall decor everything's the same i just switched out the tray a little bit on the sink area um i'm putting this dollar tree pumpkin in their tray they have the same um shower curtain double hooks that i just put in my bathroom um a candle i got this candle from walmart matter of fact i need to see what the scent is um it is I guess it just says pumpkin caramel pumpkin caramel and spice that's the scent pumpkin spice things up you see that you see that I got this candle a few weeks ago so I cannot remember the price but this is from Walmart so it probably was like three dollars maybe four um this blessed sign i got a few years ago and it was from tj maxx for 6.99 probably won't be able to see the price but i paid 6.99 for this and this tray was already in their bathroom it kind of goes with the black and white theme i kind of wanted to keep that um this tray was five dollars and it's metal um, I did end up getting them a new shower curtain because I tried to wash the one that they had and the stains just would not come out of the bottom. And of course I was looking for the same one. They still don't have it. They just probably discontinued that shower curtain. It was like two years ago when I got that. But um, I got this one and this one was like $14.99 but there was no price on it. So she ended up giving it to me for $12. Not giving it to me but yeah it's just black and white stripe and the shower liner I will be using again so oh and I got them a new trash can because the one that they had what do they have uh, they've been in here playing with it bending it up this is from Target the $5 spot so I ended up getting them one that's more durable. So hopefully they don't mess this one up. And this one was from Marshalls for $7.99. And I just want to say whoever created these double hooks for the shower, Rod, y'all are the best because these things are amazing. Amazing. I'm so glad I got them on clearance because I didn't want to pay for them. But these things are amazing. So with the kids' bathroom, I didn't want to put anything that could, you know, break they did have a candle holder in here before that was glass and they never broke it so maybe they can do okay with a little glass in their bathroom and this little sign i actually got from the target dollar spot too and yeah it was three dollars so with their bathroom i just wanted to keep it nice and simple and clean looking so and if you watch my organized organization video for my kids bathroom they do keep their toothbrushes and toothpaste inside of the drawers. Okay, so 
this I bought from my last haul. Last haul. I bought this one from my spring haul. So if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video too. If you would like to know how much this was, because I cannot tell you because I forgot. So watch that video and you can find out a lot of the stuff that I bought from my home that I will be still using in the fall. Probably see me use this in my pantry. Then I moved it to my laundry room and now it's made its way in my bathroom. So this piece, this bin is, and I've had it for about three years, three, probably like four years now. And she is still doing what she's supposed to be doing. And I don't even know who, who, who did it? I don't even know where I got this from. Um, probably Marshall's TJ Maxx. It looks like something from there. So yeah, and I just added tissue rolls inside. Um, and it'll be a part of the decor. See, functional. This soap was from Marshall's last year. I think I put some different kind of soap in it. I don't think this is the actual soap that came in. I just used it because it has like um, the fall leaves on the front. I don't know if you can see it. It has like the fall leaves on the front. I'll be using that again and then and then I have this fall pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree so check out that haul too I'm using this thankful sign in here to hang on my hooks for my towels this is from Hobby Lobby and it was $2.99 Walmart actually has the same thing but I think it was like a dollar or something and then I will be going in with my towels these towels are for decoration and I don't use them anywhere other than the hooks on the in the bathroom so these actually came from my master's bathroom and I will be using them in this bathroom this sign I got last year off the clearance the store is called Gabe's it's like a roses or like a um, Burlington kind of sorta and I spent four dollars on this. I got it off. I got it on sale after season last year. Then this candle it is, it have a bag. this candle was from Marshall's CJ Max Home Goods maybe. I've had it for a minute. And this sign it says Grateful Hearts Gather Here. This was from Walmart. My husband broke it already. I just got this from Walmart, man. It was $5.98. Just got it. And it's broken. I'm using this candle holder. This was from, I think, Burlington. It was $4.99. And then these pumpkins were from Walmart. $2.98. And this one is, it says Happy Thanksgiving on one side. And then blessed on the other side and then this one says um grateful and then happy thanksgiving these are really cute so 2.98 each and then i'll be using my smaller pumpkin too we'll also be adding a few of the lamb ears leaves so yeah and when you do this all you have to do is just pull it off like that but this was from TJ Maxx and it was on clearance. I got it for $8. So, yeah, and it's really pretty. I also bought a bath rug for here because I just wanted something new in here. I don't like putting rugs in the half baths because this is when people come over guests. But we, have, we aren't having any guests soon because of the pandemic. So, it's okay. I just have to stay on it and wash it every week I have boys <sighs> boy moms out there in the world you already know my pain so I just didn't want the odor to have to have my bathroom smelling crazy so yeah let's get to it if you are still here watching I want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and don't forget to like this video drop me some comments down below let me know which bathroom was your favorite and i just want to let you know that the next few weeks couple weeks will be fall decor so i hope you guys are ready i still have a few a lot of areas in my home that i have to decorate so i really hope that you enjoy this 
these decorating videos but if you do make sure you like this video and it helps my channel out so much when you do like the videos and comment but I just wanted to give you a heads up that the next videos will be me decorating for fall And because I'm decorating so early, I do go in and change out stuff a lot. So my bathroom probably will not stay like this. And I will be doing a home tour. So a lot of stuff may change, but I just wanted to give you a few ideas on fall decor, how to decorate your home. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you on the next video. me back it's been three days stalking his instagram saying he's in a phase so now you're telling everyone that we're drifting apart now i know that it was you who made me feel so messed up hanging out with new females cute but are they even real bad jealousy i think it's jealousy but hell with it still a melody